Hello and welcome to some USF 2000 at Summit Point. This uh, feels like one of the only tracks I ever do in the USF 2000. <laughs> but uh, it seems like they just come here a lot, I guess. Maybe a combination of both, but... Um, part of the reason is I don't have very many road tracks on iRacing. And I'm still learning this car, and so being able to revisit places that I already have a little bit of experience in kind of helps me along with that. But anyway, we are the number two today. As usual, I am just going to try not to crash in this car because <laughs> it's pretty easy, apparently. I believe I should have been able to figure out how to get race labs to show up on the video. Uh, should be in the top left corner. If not, I sound like a doofus again, but you know, that's fine. Kind of my default state. I'm sorry about the noise. I don't know what's going on. But, um, gonna hopefully get some good queuing here. I had pretty good speed in the open practice session, but it's always, uh, you never quite know for sure until you actually get into a race against the uh, same level competition. Okay, here comes your first time lap. This car always ends up going much faster the longer you're in the race. Just as it lightens up on fuel and such. Kind of just want to get a solid lap in first and then maybe try to push a little bit more the next lap. So that way I don't crash out and end up not putting in a lap or something. As usual, this is the corner of maximum stress for me. For whatever reason, I tend to uh, have trouble with that corner. Sometimes it just likes to snap at me, so hopefully I'm going to be able to avoid that. So far, so good. About half a second behind my. Sorry, this takes a lot of focus. About half a second behind my all time optimal, which is pretty darn good, I think, um, since usually that's run on lighter fuel load and such. Ooh, pushed a little too hard right there into the corner. Trying to get my braking down before I start turning. Pretty important in this car because it can get really unsettled. If you brake while turning, so. Ooh, got sideways a little bit there. That corner, man, that's my biggest enemy here. It's where I've had the most trouble. I don't know if that's what other people experience, but I messed up that section too. Dang. Ugh. Yeah, that was uh, not a good second half of the lap, so I think my first lap is actually going to be better. 1091 to a 1092. And someone else's second lap is better. <laughs> so I will be usurped from the pole position. Which is okay, because I imagine. Oh, I was going to say, I imagine it's probably that one car, but it's not. It is the four. And, uh, I've got to remember to keep my expectations contained here, don't drive over my head. Because whereas, whereas I've done like a hundred, probably like a hundred plus Mazda races, still pr can probably count on both hands how many races in this car I've done on road. I've done a couple like on ovals, but that's a whole different experience, so. Now that's down to third, just barely, a tenth off of the guy that qualified second there. I'm not even like looking at the track, just so you know. <laughs> Don't pay any attention to what I'm doing on the track right now, I'm just wasting time. And uh, I'll take it. I got some track position. 
Hopefully you can see where his slab's on the top left. It looks like it's a 1.9 strength of field. And if I were to... I, I guess this is how it works. If I were to finish third, I would get 13 road eye rating. I guess that's accurate. I don't know. Maybe that's not correct until we actually get in a race or something. But race slow is pretty cool. I enjoy having that there. For uh, any information I might need, I can get a look at the cars around me, see what their safety ratings are looking like, and maybe I can adjust how much room I'm willing to give them accordingly. P3. And some guys have a troll back there, I saw eight <laughs> incidents for the 11. Uh, the only thing I changed with the car is the only thing you can change, the brake bias. I moved it back to 51.1 to help prevent locking up the front tires as much, uh, hopefully. I think that's how it works. I don't know, maybe they lock up just as much, but I'm pretty sure having the brakes less than the front would make them less likely to lock up in the front, right? I don't know. I don't know anything. But, uh... Alright. The one car actually chooses not to qualify, I guess. Interesting. You do do pace laps here. One lap to green. Line up on the we'll right. We'll do one. Closed. Pit road is closed. One pace lap, or we're ready to go. Get all this ready in case we need to take the fast repair. Hopefully we don't. But if we do, it'll be there. Okay, according to this, if I finish fourth. Is that right? I don't know. Good luck, don't make stupid moves, and don't crash. Those seem like good ideas. Don't make stupid moves. Alright. Don't crash. Okay. Thank goodness he reminded me. I really planned on making stupid moves and crashing this race. But uh, he says, don't make stupid mistakes. Which you wouldn't really think you would want to do here. Normally you would want to, you know, try to do something stupid and then usually uh, crash. But it looks like we don't want to do that here today, so we will be ready and uh, follow that advice. P3, 15 minutes. <laughs> Enough, being, enough being facetious. Ready to start rolling. We need to follow car number zero, 04 in the left column. Kind of nice being on the inside here, I guess, for the first corner. Don't know if that's going to matter. I think I would prefer to just uh, be single file before we get to the first corner, but we'll see. Try to warm up the brakes a little bit. I think that's a thing. guy to our left should be next to the leader, who is locking up his tires on the pace line for some reason. I guess he's warming him up. Ooh, he's about to turn into the guy who's left. Pacing in Road Series is so scary. Guys are way too extra <laughs> on the pace laps, I swear. Like, it, it probably serves them well if they actually can manage to warm the tires at all, but, like, I don't know if I don't, I don't trust, like, if I'm going to start weaving left and right like that, I don't trust that the guy in the next to me is going to have that same idea at the same time, and we're just going to run into each other. Like, nah, I'm going to stay straight as an arrow right here and wait until the green flag comes out before I start doing anything. <laughs> Except maybe, like, like, like I did, uh, get the brake, brakes up to temp, which I don't even know if it's a real thing in this car. I think some cars it matters, some it doesn't, I don't know. I don't know much, <laughs> clearly. Well, we'll be watching the control car in front of us. Hopefully won't be uh, locking up his brakes when the green comes out. See when he decides to go. This car will be turning off here in just a moment. Oh, before I forget. Get that up. Go green, stay 
Let's hit the brakes. Alright, and we're off. Looks like we actually are single file, so that's good. So that's kind of what I wanted. I'm going to take it real easy to turn one, though. Make me nervous up there. There's a guy to my inside for a second, I think. Not sure what happened to him. Trying to get the tires up to temp before I do anything, though. I'm going to drive like a scaredy cat for a while. Okay, Colton. Decent start. We can build something from here. Sometimes I short shift right there from second to third. Just to try not to uh, get loose on the throttle. Seems to work out pretty well for me. We've got a whole second behind us already somehow. Alright. Lap one in the books. We've held position. And gained a whole lot of time behind us. Don't worry too much about draft at the moment. Take that much better than the guy ahead. I'm going like half throttle waiting for him to get going. Wasn't really interested in passing quite yet. I didn't think I had enough. Whoa, there he goes. <laughs> oh my god. That's how easy it is. <laughs> he was there one moment and he was gone the next. That was a... The next car's the leader. Oh, that was a disappearing act right there. <laughs> Very curious. Okay, well... Rest in peace to that individual. Sorry to see it. Guess we'll try to catch up to the leader then. See what we have for them. I guess I'm glad I didn't try to overtake him. Because, uh... Well, if we were side by side... I don't know if that would have worked out too well for me. If he's not able to control it. Speaking of... The leader is going to the beach. You shovel in your pail, we're going to the beach. He's a fisher, too. Grady Fisher going to the beach. Overdrive it a little bit there. That's fine. That was just kind of like me uh, on the brakes a little long. Still kind of taking it easy for now. These races aren't too long, but they're long enough to... Well... End up like the guy that was in front of us, so. Then it's steady. Cars coming in a little bit now. I don't like going off the side like that. Um, obviously, as far as he did, I definitely don't want to. But even getting my left side's just kind of over the bump, the curb there. It seems like it slows this car down a lot. So, try not to do that. He is locking up his tires again. I think maybe he wants to follow my lead and put the brake bias a little back. That's what happens to me all the time if I don't do that. Into turn one. Oh, no, I'm in the beach now. Stop. Hey, you there. Stop it. I've got the track. Okay. <laughs> it's like I'm more aggressive into this corner than he is. Which I probably shouldn't be, because that's the corner I die. But I usually die on exit, not on entry, so... We're just hanging out for now. Ooh. Did not get the angle right on that at all. Yikes. Oh, we got the one coming up on us. So he has made his way through the field and is ready to take us on up here. 
I'm not sure if I'm... I don't think I'm faster than the four, to be honest. I think he's faster. He's just making a couple mistakes. So I am making a couple mistakes, too. Awesome stuff, mate. Keep it coming. You've got ten minutes left. Ten minutes to go. Just pitched it too much on entry there. I almost got the grass or the sand again anyway. Sure I'm doing not uh anything too wild here. Oh, he's getting real unsettled. Pressure on him, we'll see what happens. I'm not turning in early enough for that corner. It's messing up my angle. It's a waste of time. This one's really fast. He's catching up quick. I will be using a little bit of draft here. So I'll follow him. there. That guy just straight up says move. <laughs> I think he had a lap car in front of him. That was frustrating him. And as I don't have to move. Future reference. But for you, anything. That car saying that he does not have to move. Come on, just send it. Which I guess you don't technically have to, but it's kind of courteous. Ooh, but... Anyway. Oh my gosh. This guy is fishtailing at every lap. All right, Colton. Yeah, a little bit nervous. That was another unintended pun on his last name. Fishtailing. Alright, well that guy's coming up on our inside from a million miles back. You go ahead, you're obviously faster. Go pass him for me. It's like we, as long as we don't crash, should be solidly in the podium, so I'm not gonna wreck myself trying to hold up a guy that's clearly faster. Maybe I can learn something too. Okay, I got through there all right. Oh, didn't get the shift in. There. I like to shift down to fourth in that corner. Can't have to break earlier with this extra speed into turn one here. Important things to keep in mind. Oh, he goes real wide there. He's off the track. Fisher's back at the beach, and I don't think he's coming back this time. Gone fishing. I'm sorry. That guy probably gets way too many. People making jokes about his name. I am just doing the same. So we'll see if we can hold on to this guy. This guy's clearly the fastest guy in the field. And I'd love to be able to keep up with him. But I don't want to wreck myself trying to either, so... Let's see what happens here. Ooh, that was weird. Got up on the curb a little bit. Too much. Okay, the next car's a lady, you're back in second. P2, the gap in front is now 0.7. That was a 109.0. My best, he's about 
Just under a second up at the moment. Oh no. Got the inside curved too hard. I had to kind of just bail out on that corner or else I was going to crash. So that's going to lose us a lot of time. Gosh, I am all kinds of all over the place right now. I need to get it together. Mr. Fisher is still back there. Only four seconds. He could potentially come back. How much time we got left in the race? Four and a half minutes. Three, four laps. He'd have to gain about a second a lap, pretty much. But let's not mail it in here. And let that happen. I am turning in way too early right there. Need to turn in later. Don't die in this corner. Oh, a little sideways there. You can really feel it in the wheel whenever this thing starts to lose a little bit of traction. And it's a very scary feeling because you don't get much leeway in this thing. At least compared to like the Mazda or something that I'm normally driving on the road. So number one's walking away. Still 4.1 back to third place. So let's just keep this thing on track. I think that's just about all we need to do at this point. There you go. Turn in later. That was kind of slow, but it's because I wanted to make sure I hit the line correctly for once. Correct line first, speed later, I guess. That's the method. <laughs> bit wide through there, but it'll let me cut down a little bit better. The gap in front has increased. It's now about 2.3 seconds. I know, crew chief. I see him getting smaller. I'm trying, okay? Crew chief's like, why don't you just pass him? Why don't you just catch him? I'm like, man, I am fine. It's not going to happen, though. <laughs> sector 1 is 0.3 off the pace. You're two tenths off the pace in Sector 2. Sector 3 time is fast. Just two minutes left. Two minutes to go. Two minutes left. That means we should be... Well, it'll be kind of close. Should be coming to the white flag here, though, I think. Lots of people going off track right there in the sand. You can see the tire tracks. Very common place to find yourself. Too much gas through the corner here. Thought I could get away with it. That's half fuel. You've used half your fuel. Have fuel. Why do we get so much fuel in this thing if we're coming down to the white flag here? White flag, white flag. Alright. One more lap to not crash. Let's see if I can pull it off. Okay, Colton. One more to go. Keep it together. We'll be on the podium. Your lap time was 109.1. <laughs> A little bit light on throttle there, that's okay. Manageable. That wasn't so bad. Got that figured out at least. Car stop on the left. Uh oh. What are we about to see? Car stop on the Don't go right. Come on, track. Thank you. 
a scenario played out in my mind where that guy just gassed it up into the middle of the track while I was coming. And, uh, I'm glad that is not the reality we found ourselves in. Never want to hear a car stop the head on the final lap. Around the, around the corner, you can't see. Good race, good win. Alright. We'll finish that good racing. Podium finish, nice one. Recent. I can't believe Bigger that flag. snap over Bigger here flag. just murdered me so hard. <laughs> Great job, you did really well. Yeah, that was rough. I saw that guy do that in front of me. Yeah, there one moment and gone the next. Nice one, guys. Nice one. Sounds like uh, lots of guys had a pretty good race. That's cool. I'm pull it over to you. Don't run into me. So... According to this, I will get 29 I rating for my efforts here today as the number two getting P2. We gain one spot from, uh, well, we gained two, lost one. We gained one from the pole sitter, one from the guy that disappeared, <laughs> snapped oversteer, or whatever he said, and lost one to the one who was always going to win this race, apparently, because he was very fast, so... We'll go ahead and see what did happen out on the track. Get a little bit better of a view before we do. Here we go. So that's some grass on lap one. Sending that uh, yellow car around. Ooh. And it looks like we had a pass attempt going on here and Maybe uh, either A was too focused on the car rather than his braking point, or just couldn't get it turned because he was at a different angle. It seems like he probably hit the brakes too late, though. And uh, wasn't the only thing he hit. I guess he failed to hit the brakes, but did not fail to hit the tire barrier. <laughs> That's what I'm trying to say. Missed the snap over steer. Ooh. Oh my goodness. Does a cartwheel? Yeah, that's that's interesting. He goes through there, and that's why I was going. This is why I was going so soft early on, is because these tall tires they can get you sideways like that, and this is not a car you want to be sideways in. So, you know, maybe you can catch it, but then also other times this can happen. And uh, whoop! Thumbnail's probably gonna have something to do with that. <laughs> Me in the background of that dealio. <laughs> So, continuing on. Tough luck for Kyle there. Same spot. A lot of people uh, have trouble with this spot. I've, uh, I guess maybe I don't drive hard enough through there because I never seem to have trouble with that spot. I have trouble at other spots of the track. And we got a little bit of grass right there. So not very forgiving, these cars. Get any tires off the side or anything, you're uh, gonna have a tough time. Is this the final lap? Was this? I think this might have been the guy in the final lap. I think the leader's coming around here in a moment. Get slow car ahead, and then here comes the leader, and then here comes me. Oh, he was trying too. He was high centered, I think. How long was he there? You know what? At least he's trying. I like the effort. <laughs> he's trying. You know what? That is actually terrifying. Because look, this whole time he's trying to go, what if for one moment his tire catches? Like he hits the ground and it launches him forward right now right then when I'm passing by so that could have that's that could have happened <laughs> and then this guy frustrated with uh, his uh, crash I guess he decides to end it all Wowzers okay that was right on his head too do not try this at home kids all right that'll do it so Another uh, quick race here. 
in the USF 2000. Always pretty quick sprint races here. 50 minutes, I guess, you know, it isn't crazy short, but pretty short. I uh, didn't have anything for the one, but we were able to uh, keep it clean, keep it on track, and get a runner-up, which I will take. So, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and uh, I will see you next time. Have a good one.